Hello there. How are you doing? Ninkao Joe here again on Guy Talk. Welcome to 2024, the year in which impossible will become possible for you. This is your year of possibilities, my friend. Now, before we go further in this, I want you to subscribe, like, and share this video. We're growing and trusting God to cross the 2,000 subscriber mark before the middle of this year. We can do it. Just tell your friends also to subscribe and notify and share this on social media platforms. And then when we share this and we put this together, it is going to continue to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. I want to say a big welcome to you if you are a new subscriber. Yay! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You will be glad you did. All right, let's get into this. Don't fail the money test in 2024. 2024 do not fail the money test oh what do i mean that by that listen god has determined that this year is a year in which it's going to be possible for you to be wealthy do not listen to the naysayers always listen to god god said in his word who has believed our report uh, and to whom is the hand of the Lord revealed? Isaiah 53 1. Once you, you see, whose report will you believe? That is what is on the mouth of God for you this year. Believe the report of the Lord that this is a year where wealth, abundance, financial surplus is a possibility for you. You need to embrace that. But you see, there are tests. Everything God does, it, 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 it qualifies us. It gives us tests along the way that qualifies. When you pass the test, then you are given the reward. So there are some tests today, to this year, along of the, the, the path of abundance that God has reserved for you this year. Let me also say something that the, the Lord began to speak to me um, as we're entering into 2024, that this is a year in which there will be transference of wealth. Wealth from the hands of the sinners and the ungodly will come into the hands of the godly. Wealth from the hands of those who may even be religious and they call themselves Christians, but they are not serious with God. God is going to permit this wealth to be transferred. Money is, is, is called currency. It's because it flows like current. current. The current of money is going to flow from the hands of the unjust, the unrighteous, and the unserious with God into our hands. Those of us that will pay the price to pass the test of money in 2024 so what test am i to pass this year so that i can qualify for the abundant wealth there are four tests number one the test of hard work this is the year you got to be diligent this is not a year for lazy people god's word says it that if you are diligent you're going to sit with kings you'll not sit with poor people, common people. In other words, there is going to be doors open for you if you decide that you're going to work hard. If you work hard and you work smart, God will cause favor to arise and to be your portion in 2024. So the first test you must pass is the test of hard work. Make up your mind. You're going to work harder in 2024 than you did in 2023. Next, the, the, the test of tithing. Tithe. Do you pay your tithe? Don't tell me I don't believe in paying tithe. It is the word of God. God's word says that a tenth, the first tenth and the best tenth belongs to him. It's a sign that you're honoring him and it will never go out of practice. It's not something that started with the law, no, 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 or Moses, no. It started during the dispensation of promise, the dispensation of Moses. And so we want, I mean, during the dispersion of Abraham, I should say, not Moses, Abraham. It started with Abraham. Abraham was the first one in the dispersion of the promise. Abraham, Father Abraham. And we are followers of Father Abraham. So, tithe. Begin to separate the tent and give it in the house of the Lord. The church that God has placed you in, the congregation where God has put you in, or the place, the ministry where you get fed spiritually. That's what God says. Let there be food in my house so that there will be sustenance and the, the, the process of the of things that where money is required in the running of God's house is not lacking. 
that is why God put it there. And it is a sign that you honor God. The sign that you realize you are just a steward of everything. Your breath, you are a steward, and your relationship is a steward, but your money also, income that comes your way, you are just a steward. You are not the owner. It's a sign of worship unto the Lord, and the Lord is watching it. So titles are the ones that God will pour abundance of wealth into this year. But not only tithing, the second, the third test is liberal giving over and above your tithe then God will begin to lead you. You start with tithing, but then God will lead you to give to this person that has a need, to give to this uh, work of God, to give into this kingdom project, to give into this teacher or minister or pastor that God has put over your life, a prophet offering, to, to give a special thanksgiving offering to the Lord when a breakthrough happens in your life. Listen, listen, liberal giving is also something God looks at. God looked at the rich man that God gave a breakthrough to and the man said, oh, I will, I will lay up treasures for myself and all of that. He didn't even think about God. God came down to that man and said, you are not rich towards God. Today, I will require a life from you. So what God just wants from you financially is, this year, will you be rich towards your maker? Will you be rich towards God Almighty? Starting with tithing, which is the foundation, and other givings on top of the tithing. And that is the third test. And the fourth seat. Let me tell you something. The Lord gave me a, 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 a phrase. Financial pillars for the kingdom. God is raising financial pillars for the kingdom this year. Those are the ones that God is going to concentrate transfers of wealth to and abundance and surplus to this year. Once you plug yourself into the church, into the congregation where God has placed you and you determine you are going to be a financial pillar or you find that a ministry over and above your tithe and you give unto them also as a financial pillar, a partner. Those are the ones that can expect wealth in overflow and surplus this year and so the fourth the fourth key the fourth test this year is the test of saving you need to save diligently the money that is remaining left you must have a part of it you use you eat and you you spend for yourself but you must put aside something if you can put aside five percent if you can put aside ten percent but some of us should be able to put aside 20 or 25 percent and so that as we say it's a sign to god that god uh, i am already being a good steward and god will pour he will make more available so that that saving will increase and increase and increase so this year god has put out a money test because God is a lot of blessed people financially. Make sure you pass the money test. All right, then. Make sure you like this video, share this video, comment. Uh, and until I come your way next time, this is Nikao just saying, wealth is a possibility for you. Peace.